Hey, what's going on everybody? Kenan here, and today's bonus video is a feel-good story. Uh, it's a little sad at first, but I think you guys are going to be happy with the result. I've got some precious cargo in the back of the car right now, and we are heading back up to the camp where we can release these animals into my pond. Their story's coming up right now. This is Camp Kenan. All right, so I'm home, I'm out by the pond, and here are the boxes. And so what we have here today are, um, it's a story, it's kind of a, kind of a crazy story. While I was up in New York uh, a few months ago, I was visiting the Bronx Zoo, which is probably my favorite zoo uh, in the world because I grew up in New York, and um, the zoo was my first introduction to really exotic reptiles, um, and I love that place. So uh, I've developed a great relationship with the uh, people at the Bronx Zoo and the WCS, and I've become one of the people that can receive animals from them. Now, these animals here um, were actually, they're Florida softshell turtles, but they have a, kind of a crazy story. They were fished out of here, out of Florida, and they were sent to JFK illegally, and there were about 200 of them. And the, the really horrible thing is, and you're gonna see this in a little bit when I get these animals out, but the horrible thing about this is that these animals were put into crates and they were they were going to go to Toronto, Canada, and then from Toronto, they were gonna to head to China where they would absolutely be consumed. Now, the crazy thing about what the inspectors found was that the animals' necks were cut. They were sliced to sever the spinal cord, but leave the animals alive. So think about that, they sliced them they sliced them just enough to sever their spinal cords. Um, and they did that for two reasons. One, the animals wouldn't be able to move and therefore alert any of the inspectors that there were live animals in the boxes. And two, it would keep them fresh because they'd still be alive, but they'd be paralyzed. So out of the animals, that there were many animals that could not be saved, obviously, uh, that had to be humanely euthanized. And uh, the animals you're about to meet is a male and a female. And these animals here, and you'll forgive this fumbling video, all right? I hope you guys don't mind. Bear with me. But um, the animals we're about to meet are animals that recovered. They didn't slice far enough. And so fortunately, these animals were okay. So here we go. All right. And here's going to be the male. This is a little guy. So here, I'm going to have to prop you guys up, all right? I hope you don't mind. Let me see if I can do this. Um, if that works, how's everybody doing? You don't mind, this is a little bonus anyway. Let's pull the weeds. I'm a little backlit, but I think we'll manage. Okay, so anyway, basically um, these animals are getting a second chance. So they didn't have anywhere, obviously the zoo is limited in space uh, because they have their own animals that they're working on, but they do get rescues from time to time and then they'll work with private people like myself uh, to find homes for some of these animals. So here is going to be the first turtle. And we know that Florida soft shells are called Apollone ferox, which means soft but ferocious. So I don't want to just stick my hand in there in case he's in a cantankerous mood from being on an airplane all day. I know I'd be. I don't like being on airplanes all day. Let's get this first little dude out and we'll release him in the pond. So it's a male. Oh, come on, buddy. Oh, there you go. And I'm getting eaten alive by fire ants too. Isn't that lovely? Gosh, I love Florida. Okay, look at that. Oh my gosh, it's such a beautiful animal. Florida soft shell. It's a little boy here, and we do have a female. You're gonna meet her in a moment, but you can't really see the uh, problem with the neck on this animal. But what we'll do is let's go ahead and release him right here into the water. So this is a really cool story because these animals are now gonna live out the rest of their lives in my big pond. They're back in Florida, and there's no chance of them being eaten by a human being at all here. Go ahead, little buddy. Go on. He probably hasn't seen a natural pond in a long time. Go on, my friend. Say hello to your new pals. There's a couple other Florida soft shells in there for you. Uh, have fun, and hopefully we'll get some babies. He's already trying to eat. Look at that. Get going, little man. All right. So he's in the water. This is really cool. He's going to check things out we'll let him do that but let's get this gal out she's quite a bit bigger and um, her deal is she's got more of a crazy scar on her 
and I want to show you guys this because it's just so lame. So what I'm going to do is, again, this is not an edited video, so I apologize. Hi. Let's get my trusty knife out. Come over here and we'll be gentle. Open this up. Get these animals out. Now, most people would be like, ah, what's the big deal? Florida soft shells. But guys, I first moved to Florida in 2004. It was about 12 years ago. And I used to find Florida soft shells all the time. Nowadays, it's getting really tough. Almost got bit. It's getting really tough to find big ones any longer on account that people are just sending our animals to Asia for the food market. And I just, I don't know. I'm not, I don't like that at all. Um, they're great animals, soft shells. They can get very large. And these animals here are, like I said, they can be defensive. They're ferocious when they try and protect themselves, but they eat fish, other invertebrates. Oh, let's see. Oh man, the mosquitoes are out. Oh, look at her. Let's get her out so I can show you guys just what happened to her neck. Because when I visited the, the zoo, you could really see what had happened to her. She's a little bit wonky. Let's see, look at that cute girl. Hi, sweetie pie. We're gonna get her back out in the sun, but watch this. Look at, you'll see the how her head is a little misshapen when she sticks her neck out. Come on out, come on out, don't be shy. No one's gonna hurt you here. Come on out, and you see that bump on the side of her neck? You see that bump right there? That's from where they sliced her neck to try and keep her paralyzed. Well, she's not paralyzed. You see this? Look at that, you see that bump? Oh yeah, she's a tough girl. Well, you hopefully will make babies and I'll release those babies, sweetie. Get in there, have a good day, explore, and welcome to the camp. Glad to have you, mama. All right. So this is cool, man. It's a nice little story. I'm very happy that I can help. It's an honor to help out uh, turtles and tortoises in general, other reptiles, but even more of an honor to be able to help out the good old Bronx Zoo and the WCS. So uh, there's a little video for you, everybody. I hope you like it. That's what I did today. They got a pretty big pond to hang out in and they're natives, so this is really good stuff, man. All right, I'm sure we'll be seeing more of them in the videos to come, but for now, I got to clean up and get things going. So I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. So long, don't forget new episodes every Tuesday.